We're gonna go ahead and start some bread. Um, this is our absolute favorite bread recipe. The best homemade bread I've ever made. And that is the truth. Um, and y'all know I've been making a lot of bread lately in um, the last maybe almost a year, right at a year, I'm not sure. Whenever I got my bread maker, I got really serious about making bread. Follow this. That they're gonna play a game of chase. And yeah, they don't like it. Anyways, and I don't like her to scare them or bother the other dogs. You know, if that's not how you make friends, you don't make friends by being a bully. Um, even though she's not being a bully. It just seems like it. Anyways, I'm going to make some bread. I don't know where I was at in this conversation. Oh, it's the best bread I've ever made. It is from my friend Tamara. Um, I got the recipe from her on Instagram, but she does have a video on it. So, I'm going to link it down below. It is the best. I made some... Last week or a week before last, it was last week, yeah. Um, and when Jonathan came over, he ended up, that's the only bread we had, and he used it to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, last night, he was over here again, and he asked me if I had any more of that homemade bread because he said, I said, no, but I've got some store-bought, and he said, that homemade bread, he said, that bread, he didn't say homemade, but I know what he's talking about. Um, and he said, that bread is the best bread that he's ever eaten. That is way better than store-bought, and he liked that he could cut it thick, like he probably had like, huge i mean it was huge um and that way when he puts a whole bunch of jelly and peanut butter on it because he is his father's son after all um it won't it don't explode and he really liked it so i was kind of bummed because i planned on making it yesterday and then i changed my dinner plans but then i changed them again and it still would have worked um but we're gonna make some today he don't have no plans of coming over today um but we're gonna try not to say um this whole video okay he is, he'll be coming over tomorrow, so, well, so, I got it printed out here, because it's definitely a keeper for me, I'm gonna link her video down below, she has the printable linked in that video, y'all won't regret it, I promise you that, so, thankfully, it is a bread maker re recipe, I'm sure you can make it without a bread machine, maybe we'll try that one day for you, but today, we're going the easy route, and we're gonna use the bread machine, I'm also, I was gonna make hot pockets today, too, that way I can share with my friend because she deserves hot pockets. But I just also don't want to make hot pockets because I don't want to. I don't I think it's gonna be too much. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, and I don't want to be in the house all day. So we're gonna make this bread and then we'll see where the day takes us. So video link down below. Make sure you check it out. Even if you don't have a bread maker, you can try it out and you can let us know how it is without one. I'm sure it'd be fine. Just the bread maker makes it so much easier, in my opinion. trick went out but it was only out for like i don't know two seconds and i was scared and i was scared it ruined my bread cycle but thankfully it wasn't out long enough to even mess with the machine i don't know if it's got some sort of i don't know but thankfully we're good
So it is still a wee bit too chilly out here to have on a tank top, but I know that I'm gonna be getting hot. So I decided to um, go ahead and put it on so I don't have to be going in to change. Um, I have, I think 20 minutes on my bread before I have to put it into the loaf pans for its final rise. Come on, in. Good girl. Um, so we're doing around out here. I feel like a good bug on It's out here. It's okay. Um, come out here to do around. I got a chicken that I was hoping wasn't broody, and she wasn't. Um, oh, thankfully, she's out. I was gonna say, I didn't think she actually was. She would get in here, lay an egg, and then she would leave. I'm gonna guess there's a girl in here. There's two. Um, but she would seem like she's broody, but once she laid an egg, you could kind of toss her out and she would, um, she'd be fine. She'd go about the day. However, the last two days, good girl, um, the last two days, she has slept in the egg box because she just spends so much time in there. I've been pulling her out and putting her into the run. And every time I'd put her into the run, she would eat and drink, but she would inevitably end up back in the egg box. So thankfully we was doing okay with it, but I was kind of worried, you know, I worried it would um, escalate. But she's down there running around. Of course, there's two big girls in the egg, the nesting box. So it's possible one of them ran her out, but I'm thinking maybe she just decided today was a good day to spend outside because it definitely is. Yeah, is it a good day to spend outside? I like to bark at the goats. That's not allowed. Is it, girl? Tell her. Is she allowed to bark at me? No. It's my food on my hands. She won't leave her hair alone, so she's got a bald spot because she headbutts and keeps it parted there. Don't she? Huh? Pretty girl. I did fix um, some lunch. It was a little bit early for lunch, so I guess you'd call it a brunch this morning. Uh, no one was already complaining, not complaining, but he was already asking for food. So I come out and met, uh, the garden is, I decided I wanted to make a pretty garden this year and it's being so frustrating to me trying to figure it out. Um, ah, ah, ah. No. Come here, baby. Come here, Clove. Clovis, come here. Um, Jonathan and Kim are gonna come over today I think they're going to just stay the night here. And he's got a, a dentist appointment tomorrow. And then um, they had some stuff that they wanted to do. I decided to go ahead and make tomorrow's dinner tonight. Because they probably, if they're going to spend the night here, um, they won't be here tomorrow night for dinner. They'll probably leave whenever they're going to do stuff tomorrow. And then they probably won't come back afterwards. And that's fine. It's still, we still get to see them. Which they come over last night and was here a couple of hours. And then, um, and they're going to come tonight. So I asked him if he wanted me to just go ahead and make the dinner that I plan on making tomorrow, which was chicken and dumplings, because that's what I made on Kim's birthday. And it got, like, every bit of it got ate, and it was a huge crock pot full. So, making that again.
Mr. William had something to say. Are you awake, Clovis? Do you want to go on your walk now? Mm, no? Okay, we can wait for you to finish your nap. The girls are checking her out. These two are getting better about it, which these two have been mamas before, so maybe that little bit of instinct is kicking in for them, but they can still be hateful. Whoop, did she scare you? She's not trying to bother you for once. But I took her out, and we got her some late lunch, which I got her a little bit in the house anyways. But I took her out and fed her some lunch. And so now, say, I am napping. Yeah. You want to go on a walk? You want to wait about five more minutes? Okay. Okay, we'll wait. And I do quickly want to interject here. Um, if you're going to try this, the recipe itself we was a fan. However, the cake calls for adding three eggs and one third cup oil. You're not supposed to make the cake as directed on the back of the box. And so I followed the recipe as it showed. I kind of, I had a feeling I shouldn't. Like something told me to add, well actually I did add a little water. I forgot I did add just maybe a, not even a fourth of a cup of water because you wasn't supposed to, but it just felt weird to me. Um, and it was really thick. So I added one fourth cup of water. However, next time, and there will definitely be a next time, um, next time I will be adding, I'm going to make the box cake as directed, poke holes in it, add some marshmallow fluff. I also did add some chocolate um, syrup to it. So chocolate syrup, marshmallow fluff, and then you can do the marshmallows, graham cracker crumbs, and some chocolate chips. We ended up, you'll see on it, that I done a chocolate like drizzle because I knew nobody wanted to bite into a big old chocolate chip that was hard. So maybe miniature chocolate chips. Maybe next time I will even do a ganache. I don't know. This was good, but it definitely needed some work, but it, it had a lot of potential. So we will be revisiting the recipe for that very soon. However, the a recipe will be linked down below if you're interested in it. It's super simple, but got to give credit where credit is due. But we will be making those changes. So if you decide to make it, I kind of suggest that you make them as well. Now 
gonna be it for this video. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, friends.